Yo everybody, welcome back to another video. Thanks for stopping by and tuning in to another one. You're freaking amazing. So guys, in today's video, we're going to be continuing to test the capabilities of the newest brawler coming to this game, Rosa. Now, if you were able to catch our last video that we did, we were testing out every single one of the high DPS brawlers against Rosa Super to see if anyone could kill or come close to killing Rosa. Now, of course, no one was able to kill her because her super is incredibly solid. Now, what we're going to be trying in today's video is literally testing the limits of Rosa Super, taking it to the complete max. Maximum. Once you get done seeing this footage, we can't take it any step further because we're going to be using the energy drink modifier to help aid the brawlers in their DPS. So what we're going to be doing today is pinning up every single one of the brawlers in this game with energy drink modifier activated against Rose's super to be the ultimate test of what Rose's super can handle in this game. Now, if you ask me if she can withstand the damage coming in from some of the highest DPS brawlers in this game while Energy Drink is activated, she can withstand anything this game can throw at her. For example, the IKE in Siege or the boss in Boss Fight while it's enraged. Also, at the very end of the video, we're going to be having a brief discussion of what I believe Rosa is going to do to this meta. What is her impact going to be? To be honest with you guys, I've been pretty dang obsessed when it comes to testing out what Rosa is truly capable of and her mechanics in general. And I believe she's going to be pretty dang scary in this meta when it comes to a super like she has that she's basically indestructible for six seconds so guys with that being said let's hop into all the information in today's video let's go okay guys so hopping straight away into every single brawler in this game with energy drink activated against rosa super now much like last video i want you guys to leave in the comments down below your predictions do you believe that she's going to be able to withstand the damage coming in from brawlers with energy drink or do you think vice versa do you think she doesn't stand a chance that super is going to break the indestructible super is going to break so guys i'd be really interested to see what you guys are thinking so with that being said, guys, let's roll the clips. Here we go. Let's <laughs> go. 
Okay guys, so in conclusion, Rosa Super is pretty dang OP. I found myself watching the footage back and forgetting that the Brawlers even had Energy Drink activated. Of course, some of the Brawlers were able to kill her, like the really high DPS Brawlers, like Rico and Colt, for example. But other than that, some of the Brawlers didn't even put a dent into her, like Poco and Penny. The Brawlers that I feel like you would be nervous to go up against if they had Energy Drink activated, where she was taking laughable amounts of damage. Another one that really surprised me was Leon, a Brawler that's revered for having incredible DPS that can and take up brawlers in a few seconds. Rosa was able to withstand four basic attacks coming in from Leon with energy drink activated. It's pretty dang incredible. Also, make sure to keep in mind that in the footage, Rosa was just standing still and taking it. In an actual game, she'd be able to heal herself up with her star power as well as attack back. I was laughing to myself at some of the brawlers trying to dish out damage to her super while Rosa could have just punched back and killed them in a few seconds. <laughs> Okay, so transitioning into the next phase of today's video, and that is a discussion of Rosa and what I think she's going to be capable of in this meta. So first things first, I think she's going to be introduced into the game pretty dang overpowered, almost approaching Leon tier. As you guys know, when Leon was first introduced to the game, he was pretty dang broken. After receiving four or five nerfs later, now he's kind of at that standard where every single brawler's at pretty dang balanced. Whereas opposed to when Carl and Jean were first introduced to the game, a little bit underwhelming, it's kind of the opposite. Rosa is going to be pretty dang solid and pretty dang easy to push your trophies up with her. Now it's all because I feel like Rosa is going to have incredible viability on multiple different game modes, especially the popular game modes right now that are really, really good for trophy pushing, that I definitely would not be surprised if people got Rosa to like 1,000 trophies or 1,200 trophies within the next season, just because her playability on Siege, I believe, is going to be off the wall. Being able to coordinate dives with your teammates while your super's activated, tanking out the IKE's damage coming in. I believe when her super's activated, activated for six seconds she only takes 200 damage from the ike every single shot which is laughable to the amount of damage or i should say hp that rosa has for example if you have like a barley a bull and rosa on your team and you initiate the push onto the ike while taking damage from the opponents that are trying to um discourage you from going in on the ike while your super is activated you could probably withstand probably like five seconds of that onslaught while your brawlers are pushing in and with five seconds being able to attack the IKE with three different brawlers, that's a good amount of damage, probably well over 50%. Now, if I'm thinking about other game modes, I think the next best is going to be Brawl Ball, just because of her brute control, being able to push around brawlers on the map, especially with her super. Once she activates her super, she can really get into the thick of things, getting into the brawlers that are kind of problem brawlers, like maybe a Colt in the background or a Leon running around, being able to take them out, as well as that long respawn time in Brawl Ball, just being able to take out the brawlers and then walking in the ball. And as for the other game modes, I think she's still going to be pretty dang solid, like gem grab and heist. The only game mode that I think she's going to have a little bit of a hard time on is bounty, just because of her lack of mobility. Um, if you think about it, she's much like uh, El Primo, but she just doesn't have that mobility that El Primo has, where you can kind of jump in and pick up a kill or jump away, getting out of a sticky situation. Rosa has to walk up to the brawler that she wants to kill. Next, getting into Rosa's counters, and to be honest, I feel like that word doesn't even really apply to her. Like I said before, I've been going 
going through some pretty extensive play testing on multiple different game modes as well as going up against all the brawlers in the game and I found that not a lot of brawlers can really withstand Rosa's pressure. Um, the only brawler that really comes to mind that I find can do an okay job against Rosa is Frank by being able to stun her while her super is activated and just keeping her in her place before or waiting for her super to run out and then being able to kill her. Some other brawlers that kind of can do something against her is Shelly with her uh, super being able to super stack, um, getting off as much damage as possible, just kind of keeping her stunned in her place. Um, but that doesn't really come about that often. You have to be kind of in a perfect situation to be able to constantly keep that super stack going. But other than that, I feel like Rose is going to be pretty dang difficult to counter in this meta that she's going to be introduced in. Let me know in the comments down below what you're thinking about that. And if you did enjoy the video, make sure to slap a like on it. I'd really appreciate that. So guys, with that being said, make sure to keep having fun with Brawl Stars and we'll see you in the next video. Peace out.